two pros, three holes, and the ladies' tees. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. Second of all, please make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave because on this channel, we bring you guys golf related content every single day, hopefully to help you raise your game, generally to help you lower that handicap, but mainly just get you enjoying golf loads more. Isn't that right, Chris? That is correct. Absolutely correct. And today we're going to help people enjoy the golf because we're playing from here. Ladies' tea. The ladies' tea, and this was your idea. Well, any logic behind it? There's method in the madness, as always. Is it? People say it's a lot easier for ladies. So we're going to see: is it easier for us from the ladies' tee to shoot a good score? Because you see, here we're 70 yards forward. 70 yards. 70 yeah, yards. It's all the way over there. The hole is about 320. 314. So, oh, 314 to be precise. And you're still hitting big dog. Still hitting the driver. So let's see if we can make a few birdies. Let's do it. Or pars or bogeys. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably the latter. <laughs> so guys, as always, I want you to be a part of my videos and I want you to hit those comments below. In today's video, I want you to comment below what is the most fun you've ever had on a golf course. Was it an easy golf course? Was it a challenging golf course? Was it a really tough golf course? Or was it just like we're doing today? Forward tees, trying to make it as easy as possible and hopefully trying to make it a birdie fest. I say this, it's a little bit windy, so imagine if there's not one birdie in this vlog, what an epic fail that would be. So red tees, and I've managed to miss the fairway. Chris has missed the fairway on the other side as well. He's doing the walk of shame. 102 yards. Gap wedge. So guys, we have Chris. That's about kind of 20 feet. I've just missed the green left. And one of the real interesting, put it out. One of the real interesting points here is that this first hole is quite a long hole off the white tees. It's kind of 400 odd yards. We're playing into the wind. Have you not got a putter again? No, I've left it inside yet again. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily enough we are doing a putting video today as well, however off the red tees, obviously we've both missed the fairway, both drawn pretty bad lies, but because we've only got a wedge in our hand from 100 yards, it all of a sudden becomes a little bit easier. Turn, turn. Not bad, left him trying to test her. Just take the cover off that, Chris. Oh. <laughs> Brand new, let's see what it's got. How's it look? Swings a dream, looks good. See if it works. Oh! Scandalous. Felt nice. I'm going to give you that, Chris. And for not a bogey on the first hole on the ladies' tee challenge. What's the read? That cup outside, right? I think, looking at that. Outside, right. Never Thank you. Like, thank the putting coach. Unbelievable scenes. So, second hole, white tees. And we're about, again, 60, 70 yards forward. 70, well, 61 yards forward. And we actually maintain the par 5 status as well, which is nice. Yellow tees, you lose it. Well, I have got to say, guys, we only just made par on there, to be fair, so I think it's going to be a birdie fest. I'm not 100% sure. Hopefully on this one. It's windy, though, isn't it? It is. We're probably playing a good 20 miles an hour in. It's a good two club win, so even at 4.09, it might not be the easiest par 5. Sounded good. Struck it well. Don't make it any less tight, does it? No, it's it's the angle. You've got to hit it away from the trees and out of the bunker. Struck it 
strike. Stalling in that sea breeze in Rotherham. I dare say, last time we played this off the whites, I was probably further up. The wind, but... <laughs> Is what it is. I'm glad we're not off the whites today. So yet again, we've missed the fairway. You've not drawn a particularly bad nor neither nice lie. And I'm the other side of the uh, the old cart path there, so that's going to be an interesting one. Yeah, better than the last hole where you one side did one. Right. How far we got? Two oh five. Complete guess. Yep. Into the sea breeze. <laughs> Is that marker 150 there? That's 150. Yeah. So I've got a four iron. So what you're saying is these drives are only going 210 yards into the wind. Basically, yeah. I mean, it is strong. Drawing in nicely. Feathered it. Right hand side. Chance. That's the shot. Power fade. Under then over. That'd be some kind of just start left and move, wasn't it? Start left and move. Move that to start with. What? Some impediment-ish sort of, not really, but just teed it up. I never do this on videos, but I'm too hot. I was going to keep the con contingency going, but I can't. Too hot. The weather here in uh, in Royal Rotherham is just too hot. Oh, this is the first time I've used these. This is the HMB five iron. <laughs> Is that enough, do you think? Um, I'm going to say no. Oh, it's the first time I've used this, the HMB 4 iron. <laughs> 4 iron on the hockey. Starting left, fading back. Natural slice. Going for the all black Gary Player. <laughs> Ooh, caught a bit of the old foliage, but it had enough. I oh, I tell you what. Bang on line as well. Bit of foliage off, so that's a shot penalty. <laughs> Damage in the trees, although the green keepers are going to do some work over the winter. Far away there. So they might be gone anyway. No, that was uh, just in the front apron. So Chris, is this something that you would do regularly, come out and play sort of a different golf course off different tees? Is it, would you recommend it to golfers? Well, I mean, what we do at the moment, we've got a scholars program, so some between 16 to 18 year olds, and we get them out here to play different shots. So. We've got nine holes here, but if we can play off different tees, you can play different courses from different positions. You know, instead of hitting an eight iron to green, they might hit a wedge and they have to practice different things. But yeah. the main thing is, especially with the guys, they all think it's going to be easy. Yeah, like like we kind of joked about on the first tee and then struggled to make par. We think it's easy because it's shorter, but again, you start to hit different clubs in, you don't know the distances as well, you start to think, okay, you might find a weakness. You might Absolutely. find from 100 yards to 130. You're rubbish. Like me, you're rubbish. And I think that's a fair point as well, because who's played their own golf course countless times, and before you even get to your golf ball, you know exactly what club you're hitting. We've all been there, haven't we? Anyway, back to the action. So I'm just short. The foliage that Chris mentioned has taken a bit off it. And Chris is actually kind of middle back end of the green on the par five. So, eagle put. The dream is alive. Right, two yards on. It's gone for a lofted club. Get it pitching on to a special Keith pin. Oh, I tell you what, he's thrown it up there. It's a little bit past, he's got about an Let's eight footer. Two ball, XO. For the Steven Seagal. Tell you what. Oh! That could be going in your bag, that, couldn't it? I think it might be straight in. Replace my other Odyssey. That's a bird. Relatively easy bird for you as well. Yeah, easy. Right, so this for the half? This for the half. Yeah, downhill slider. He's ready. Let's it go. Oh, referee, it was the pace. Routine par. Had a chance, but I mean, a couple of good shots. You were behind chance, a tree. Well, don't forget. Semi chance. It was blame the chip. You don't blame the putt there, do you? No, I mean you had a chance. You gave it a roll. So guys, we weren't going to actually film this par three because we wanted to just separate it up a bit. We wanted to play a little bit of golf, and there's actually a hole in mind we want to play, which is downwind because they've all been into the wind so far. But then we hit these. So I've got this for birdie, which was with a 50 degree gap wedge. And Chris has managed to hit the green with a wedge as well, so well done Chris. Thank you very much. I'm alright saying that, I'm one down, aren't I? Does this count for the match? This is counting. 
Is it? Straight in. Excellent. Oh, heck. I'm going to give you that. Where have you got it? Left, just outside left. Just outside left. Over the ball. I think I need a new putting coach. <laughs> it's a par, man. So guys, what was going to be a three-hole ladies tee match has now escalated into a four-hole ladies match, all because, I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to get a birdie on the card, but I haven't. There's one last chance, and this one's downwind, although I do feel like the wind's died a little bit now. Not, <laughs> we're, not, we're not trying to make excuses at all, but Chris has made a birdie, so he's kind of... You're all right now, aren't you? You can relax. One under. One under, one up. Cool. One hole to play, chilling. So this hole is a par four, it's the eighth hole, and we've gained, let's do some maths there, 60, about 80 yards-ish. Apologies if I'm wrong. So Chris, I'm going to let you tee off. It's obviously your honour because you are the birdie man. And then I'm going to make a few points as to why this isn't as easy as what we thought it was going to be. Oh, wow. And we'll do it quickly because it's just about to absolutely hammer it down. Flash floods. Flash floods. <laughs> On its way. Rained off, sorry, no birdies. Yeah. So, we've taken cover, because just as we teed off there, the heavens have opened and it's absolutely lashing it down now. Brolly. Neither of us have a brolly, so we're not very prepared. But the thing I want to make out here is, it's not that much easier because, for me, I missed both fairways. Yep. And the short game today has been rubbish for me. Correct. So, I think we're alright saying that ladies' golf courses are easier if you hit fairways uh, it's obviously a little bit easier because if you miss a fairway, you can still hit a wedge in. Yep. Which is what I found on the first. Still managed to near enough hit the green and then two putt. But your short game's got to be on, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so. And I mean, we'll do this and talk because it's just stopped raining. Even though, beautiful. Even though it has, it is shorter. It's been windy today, so it's actually played quite tough. So, yeah. I mean, certainly I wouldn't have liked to play off the uh, whites today. It wouldn't have been enjoyable, really, would it? No, it'd have been a, it'd have been a battle. And I mean, even off the ladies, it's not being easy. One under, that's okay after four holes, but it's for like, you, I'm uh, level. Yeah, exactly. So, people, what would you, what would you expect? Would you expect to shoot below your handicap if you played off the reds, or would you expect to shoot to the same? Yeah, you see, for me, I suppose in these conditions, a little bit wet, rainy, started with a jacket on, all these little things. I think level par is actually not a terrible return if I was on the white tees. So then you've got to say, well, yep. has it made it easier? Because let's be fair, level par through three round, this, it's a tight golf course, isn't it? It is a tight golf course, you'd yeah. You'd probably take it. Yes, well, you, you Well, you wouldn't, because you one under, but. You definitely, well, I definitely would sign my car, get off, one under, four holes, <laughs> career best. So believe it or not, we've actually hit a couple of decent drives down here. It's downwind, but there's no real wind anymore. So we'll just try and make do with what we've got. And I'm one down, so I think I need a birdie. Need a birdie. A, to make a birdie in the video, but also not to lose to him. Again. I get, when, did you win last time? I think I won last time. That's why I took the honour on the first. <laughs> <laughs> I think it were a convincing victory. That one. 50, I reckon, to the pin. 150 to the pin, and we're just saying we've got another little tricky pin actually, which hasn't helped us today. But that is my ball actually, 30 yards up there on Chris as well. So there we go. Drawing in a little bit, is it up there? Not bad. Right side, right side, chance. Hi, right chance. Chance for me, I meant. All oh, right, fair enough. <laughs> I say it's I'll one. Say Paris, you keep guessing. Everyone thinks that you, you're full of knowledge and you're just guessing. 138 to the pin. If this is 138, I'm going in. 131. So you're about 138. Exactly. So we're downwind, From where I, I am. can get gap wedge there. Downwind, I reckon you can get gap wedge there, but I wouldn't say it's necessarily the play. What's the play? Pitching wedge. It's a nice pitching wedge. If you didn't know, Chris was a European tour caddy, weren't you, Chris? Uh, part time. Well, he's got the line, he's got the draw. 
How's he got the distance? Oh, I tell you what, I'm here all week. Oh. I'm here all week. Thanks for coming. I had it on your belt. Invoice will be in through shortly. It's chin wedge, gat wedge. What a buffoon. Not a clue. All the gear, no idea. So, JCR there. Chris has found somehow the right edge of the green, although he's got quite a long putt. This could be going to extra holes in the ladies' match. Look at that. I tell you what, I think if I had a bit of gap wedge there, it would have been a lot closer. Lies. Full of lies. <laughs> Stay up. Ah. Lovely pace, that. I'm going to give you that. So, I'm going to give you that, Chris. You can move that. I'm going to say, I thought I'd gone uh, deaf for a minute there, to be honest. So one thing I would say is I've definitely had the chances to come down to either the short stick or how good I am with a wedge. This is a chance here. Ten, hmm, ten feet. A one in three putt. Has he got it? Oh. Unbelievable scenes. One in three. He's made it. Right, all square. Five all match. Five hole match down the ninth at Royal Waterfront. Oh, I'll tell you what. So, you guys might be glad that you're getting an extra hole in the video. Obviously, it's more content, it's a bit more time not wasted because, well, he's watching YouTube videos a waste of time. I like to think it's entertainment value, but I'm even more happy because I've got on the birdie sheet, or on the card with the birdie, should I say? Birdie sheet? Birdie sheet, yeah. That's a new one. Because I would never have lived it down if I'd not got a birdie in this match with you. But my question is, has anyone else ever been on the birdie sheet? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I haven't. <laughs> what a birdie <laughs> So we're finishing on another par 4. This is the ninth stroke 18th here. And it's again kind of 60 yards further forward, stroke index 7. I mean, look at that. So Chris, you've got to be happy seeing that putt go in, being the putting coach. It was a great putt. Just a bit disappointed that my... Uh... Pitching wedge from 155 was nowhere near the hole. Did you get a pitching wedge from back there? Just, just clipped it in, really. I'm not having that. Is it, is it dirty? You don't clean it's them either. Definitely dirty. Uh, yeah, the eight quite dry actually. You not hit the eight iron there, did you? Oh, I don't know. Flushed, did you really? Flushed out of the middle. Right, last hole, red tea challenge. Pressure's on. Robbo's fresh off a birdie sheet. A birdie sheet. The line is just the edge of the trees. Little nudge. Oh, he's absolutely nailed that one as well. That could be position A. When did you learn how to play? Oh, when you've got it, you've got it. Ready for Dubai. The big world championships. Oh, do we have driver? Driver's out, so it's looking like that, isn't it? Driver's out. Same line, just over the edge of the trees. Starting to rain again. Wow. He's absolutely buttoned it. I good with that. Shots should be side by side. Frighteningly good that. So guys, it keeps raining on and off, so we're going to do a little bit of a round up here before we actually finish, which I've never done before, but hopefully I'm not going to get caught in the rain. I've got to say, I've massively enjoyed this and I've had a laugh, I've had fun. I think that's what we set out to do, wasn't it? We set out to come out and say, yeah. look, it doesn't matter. We just want to play golf, have fun, and hopefully make some birdies. Luckily, we've both got on the birdie sheet, so there is that. <laughs> birdie sheet. Yeah, been... I mean, I've enjoyed it because, again, you're not having to hit long irons into every hole. I mean, how many times do you play and you're hitting a, a four iron in or a five iron or a six iron with it? Quite a few wedges. We've still had to hit some longer clubs in, into the par five. Yeah. Uh, so we've had all the shots, but we've had a lot more chances at birdie, which then your enjoyment, for me, goes up. Yeah. And on this last hole, you can probably see it just about, we are both right down its throat there. So, potential chance at two birdies to finish. Two birdies. Hopefully birdies. just one though and we'll call it a day. The birdie sheet will be full. <laughs> <laughs> and embarrassingly for you, I think I've done you again there. Oh. Like I say, the disclaimer is that James has given me a dodgily fitted driver. He's <laughs> holding me back. Keyword being given. Well... True. And the rain's coming down again. The rain is coming. It's a little pitching wedge. Starting at just to the right. It is placing. 
seemed heavy. Oh, I'll tell you what, go in! Go in! Oh. And that, folks, is what we call a fat and run. <laughs> There's just something about losing to a shot like that, isn't there? Oh, that Not is lost a yet, but. Shot to win. 80 yards. Here he goes. Oh, he's clipped it. He has clipped it. Oh, I'll tell you what, I could go in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Every chance. There's one at two foot and one at three feet. I've, got to say, I've, I've had so many slight moments where I've just really enjoyed it, obviously, because you're hitting a shorter club in, so proximity is closer. And we've both nearly old that, aren't we, to be fair? I mean, he must be enjoying it. He's even cleaned his clubs. Unbelievable. <laughs> two, I tell you what, he's closer as well, still. I think this is for the win. For the win, he's oh, very shout controversial out. shout. Oh! <laughs> Never up, never in. Some could say you <laughs> Sorry guys, it's raining now as well, sorry. It's even put the flag in my way. I think you put it there mate, to be fair. All the, tricks. This is it. the next one's not good either. Oh, <laughs> he's done a lap of honour. Thank you very much. Well played. Thank you. Off a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching that. We do hope you've enjoyed it. That was a three hole slash five hole red tea challenge, ladies tea challenge. And I've massively enjoyed that. I think we have sort of proven a little bit with the amount of birdie opportunities that we've had that it's quite fun actually. I've really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed hitting shorter clubs in than I would normally, even on a challenging windy day. Well done, Chris. Thank you. Se victory. Second victory on the channel, so congratulations. Regulations stuff these days <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys thank you so much for watching we do even enjoy it. if you have make sure you do hit that subscribe button below leave us a like if you enjoyed that content and as always we'll see you tomorrow <laughs>